Hi, my name's Sara. I'm an independent sales advisor for Thermomix and I have been uh, doing this for coming up two years. Um, I have um, two teenage children and I live with my husband and them. And part of the reason I got a Thermomix was because I needed inspiration for what I would need to cook them because I was stuck on a two-week rota of what food I was cooking and really I needed that inspiration plus I'm very busy so I don't have a lot of time so I need something that could do things quickly yet still produce good food and fresh food really that's using ingredients that's all cooked from scratch um, getting out of using ready cooked meals and jars and sauces and things like that so I was introduced to Thermomix and uh, as the rest of this say is history. So the purpose of this video, this first one in my series, is going to tell you about the Thermomix TM6. Uh, this was launched in July last year and um, Thermomix has been going for since something like 1930, has been various different models over the years, each of them improving, first one looking quite like a normal blender until now we're at this one where everything's built in um, and it all works off wi-fi and basically has a repertoire of recipes which we'll talk about a bit later and, and i'll show you so i thought i'd just explain a little bit about the thermix tm6 for those that are new to it or are thinking about getting one but don't really know much about what it can and can't do so the purpose of this video is to show you and explain this is the thermix tm6 this is how it will come. This is what you um, will get. We have the different parts to it. We have our Varoma, and the Varoma is the um, system of steaming your food. So it comes with a Varoma tray, a Varoma dish, and the Varoma lid. And basically working through water, if I put that back on there, you're using water or sauces and things like that. When you're cooking, the steam comes up through and therefore steams through the food that's in the Varoma dish. We have our steaming basket, comes with a lid. So this will be used for vegetables, rice, pulses, uh, all sorts of things like that. It sits within the mixing bowl, which I'll show you in a moment, and therefore has the lid to cook within that. Again, if you're cooking something sauce under there, you can also be steaming your vegetables. Okay, if I just remove the Varoma dish for the moment, we have a splash guard, which is like that. So we can put this over here, which will then lock in. And the idea being on the lid, when you're cooking sauces and you want to reduce them down, the steam can come out to help reduce it, but obviously it won't splash everywhere on the surfaces. We have um, a measuring cup, which takes uh, measurements of 50 to 100 mil. This basically sits in the middle and always is used within your lid of your Thermomix there. Now this is designed so it has a slight gap under there. So when you're wanting to add ingredients very slowly or perhaps you're squeezing lemons into a, a recipe and you want to trap all the pips, the idea being the juices and the um, oils or things like that can go under the, under the little gaps, which is very hard to see on the video, but it goes into there. And obviously with lemons, your pips would be kept in here for you to throw away and not have them stuck in your recipe, digging them out, etc. The spatula, this comes with it as well, silicon made, has lots of different functions to it. You'll notice if I set it down there, we have a gap there, so therefore you're not dripping all stuff over the surface and touching the surface when you're not using it. It also doubles up, if you see here, as a handle to your basket, so when your basket's inside there and you need to get it out, you can obviously use this to get the basket out when it's got hot uh, rice, vegetables, etc. inside it. And one of the last items we have is our whisk. So this is for doing your meringues, um, souffles, you know, mashed potatoes, things like that. Basically just sits over your blade, inside your bowl, like so, and is used in a lot of recipes. So it's a very useful item to have. And to whip up your egg whites in probably five seconds at all. So this is what we call our mixing bowl. Okay, you can probably just about see inside there, we have four blades. The blades are different heights, so the basically you can grind things as small as even sugar, down to uh, icing sugar, caster sugar, use it to grind coffee beans, but basically these are obviously four different levels. 
They are very sharp. Let me just show you actually the ball comes apart. Just three easy steps. It's a twist there. That comes apart. This comes apart. And then that's pretty much it for cleaning. You can see your hole there for cleaning. So there you go. That's our blades. Now the blades are sharp on one side here and blunt on the other side. And they're made of Soligen steel, which is Soligen in Germany. Now a lot of the chef knives come from um, Soligen, so they're obviously very good quality. And basically, using these different blades here, we can have chopping, etc. with the sharp side, but when we're just generally using it, we just want to stir around. We have a reverse blade function that we'll see at some point, that basically allows you to use the blunt side and therefore it won't chop up. Simple to put back together, our blades go back in. Stand it onto our base, making sure it's in there. Literally just twist that round. You can just see I'm just twisting that round so it's back in line with the handle here. And then tug to check it's secure. And there we are, our mixing bowl's back together. Now our mixing bowl um, takes up to 1.1 litres on there. Um, it has, uh, sorry, 2.2 2 litres, sorry. So we have 1 litre there, 2 litres there, and that extra 200 ml there. Okay, that's also shown on the inside, so it's easy if you're adding in fluids, you can use that as well. Thermomix is made in Germany. Um, it's, it's light, easy to move around, um, to lift up. So, and because it just plugs in, we're obviously able to um, transport it around anywhere. A lot of people I've sold to use it to take down to their caravans. Um, someone has a place in France, so they take it out to France and they use it out there. Okay. Um, what else can I tell you about it? So the screen is probably the easiest thing to show you next. So we have our three dials here. The first dial is our time. The second dial is our temperature when we're cooking. And our third dial is the speed to what you're going. And if you see that little sign there, hopefully you can see that video, that's the blade. If I press that, you can see it changes to a little green arrow. That shows you our reverse blade that I was saying. And it had a little message telling you reverse blade enable. If you see when I press that, reverse blade is disabled there so that just shows you when you're wanting to use it okay we have our cookie do platform which is built into the um, thermomix so we can uh, look at recipes online we can look to cook them today so if i wanted to put in pasta for example there we go second while we log on search there and there we go, you can see it will now bring you up all the different pastas that are available for you to cook and for you to choose that you want to do. Okay. On here we also have the functions. So if I take it back to home, if I swipe the other way, you can see the different functions. You can see that clear enough. So we have our scales. If we want to weigh ingredients, you can see it there. If I press that on there, you can see how it moves. It's very sensitive. Obviously, you can see it's uh, back to front for you, but just by touching that, tear resets it. So that's our scales. Goes up in one gram increments, so it's really good when you're measuring herbs, spices, that sort of thing, because it will pick up that one gram increments. If I shut that down. We have our dough function for when we're making bread. So we just set the time. Most of these recipes already have this set in. Uh, we have a turbo, so it's like a chopping function or crushing ice. Pre-clean, and I love the pre-clean. This is when you're all done, dusted, finished your recipe. Fill it with hot water just to cover the blades. Add a couple of drops of um, fairy liquid and it'll wash itself up. Nothing better than that. And in fact, that's probably the main thing that sold me in the final uh, bit, the fact that I was able to wash up. So when you're cooking, you're literally using this, your the, um, tools that we talked about down here and you know a knife chopping board and that's pretty much it uh, there's a kettle function if you want to boil water and use it as a kettle the blending function uh, we have our new slow cook function so that's really good there's lots of new recipes coming out all the time for slow cooking sous vide for those of you that are um, aware of sous vide that's with cooking with the water very good for steak meat fish um, basically because it makes it so tender so it's like a slow cooking using the water so it's a brilliant function fermentation and um, we have there for yogurt so you can make your own yogurts rice cooker these are a couple of our new functions so all your pulses and rices and all these sorts of things 
you just put what rice you're collecting it presets it or you can set your time in and then lastly we have a thicken there if you can just see with a little jug so that's where your sauces and things like that that you want to make thick um if you've got recipe and it's come it's uh, not as thick as you like it gives you that option to change it okay so um that's pretty much all this on the firm mix at the moment i'll do another one where we talk about cookie do and these different bits here um and go back to the beginning and as i say that's all for the new function if you want to buy out some more i'll make some more videos and actually cook some things as well all right take care for now bye